So now, without further ado, I want to uh, mention an individual who I have come to, uh, to really appreciate, uh, value, uh, and respect uh, throughout my time in Washington. Uh, back in 2003, when I uh, came to Washington, I was actually at a reception uh, during Ilinden uh, that Ambassador Nikola Dimitrov, uh, our previous ambassador, also uh, hosted. And, and uh, many pe people were uh, mentioning uh, this individual's name. And, and I recall my parents and other people uh, mentioning her name. And I said, I need to meet this individual uh, while I'm in Washington. Uh, I, I went, I found her email through Gligor Tashkovich, believe it or not, one of our other uh, council members, and said you should contact uh, Ambassador Lyubica Achevska. And, and, I, and I contacted her and I invited her to speak to our class at American University. Um, and I have to say all of the students in my class were really impressed uh, with Ambassador Achevska. Ambassador Achevska was uh, the first ambassador uh, to, to Washington from Macedonia. Uh, she basically went up to the president at the time or the representatives and said, you need, you need Macedonian representation in Washington. You need that representation. Without that, you're not going to get US support or world support. And President Kirogligorov at the time said, well, you do it. And this individual, not only did she do it, she, she basically gave up her US citizenship, took on full Macedonian citizenship. I don't know, I mean, sometimes you might wonder at the beginning of this fledgling you know, state whether it's gonna succeed or not. Uh, nobody knew at the time, but Lubica said that I'm going, she is going to represent Macedonia in Washington. And nine years she was our ambassador and established, really, US-Macedonian relations, IMF World Bank Macedonian relations, and the UN uh, relations with Macedonia. So I want to bring up uh, my friend, uh, our friend, and the honorary uh, chair of this conference. You have done an extraordinary job uh, with, uh, with chairing this event. Uh, you definitely brought a, a, a different perspective uh, as somebody who was raised in the United States who decided uh, to enter public service for her homeland, uh, as many of us are now helping Macedonia. And I want to recognize her with our Distinguished Macedonian Heritage Public Service Award. <laughs> the Macedonian. The Macedonian Heritage Public Service Award presented to Ambassador Lubica Achevska in recognition of your significant role in promoting Macedonia and the Macedonian cause. I really don't know what to say. Um, yesterday, I was looking through that uh, uh, journal, the program, and all of a sudden, I saw my uh, my photo and this you know, write up, but you know, but with my picture there, and I thought, well, but wait a minute, the the letter that I wrote welcoming um, the guest did not have my photo. W what is this about? I, I did not that I was I did not know that I was uh, going to be receiving this award. It was uh, it was a complete surprise. I I worked closely with Beto these past what five six months, and I really was very surprised, and I really am uh, very very touched. 
Uh, when I met Meto, you know, I, I did uh, speak to his class and uh, we would get together periodically for, for coffee and, you know, I saw myself in Meto a few years ago, 20 years ago, I mean, it's incredible how long it has been. The energy, the enthusiasm uh, that he has, uh, has has been just just absolutely incredible. You know, a thank you to uh, to your parents. You know, he really is a remarkable young man, and may your father rest in peace. I'm sure he's very proud of you. Um, my interaction basically has been with Mitt, although I have met. Uh, uh, some of the other board members, uh, but just briefly uh, through the year. Uh, the glass of water. Actually, that's mine. Uh, and these past few days, I've had uh, uh, more of an opportunity to um, to uh, to interact with them, and they really they really are quite a remarkable group of uh, young men and, um, and the young woman. Uh, they really are very inspirational. And they really, what they have achieved, and it, it really is something else. And when I look around this room, and also uh, the, uh, the past few days of the conference, I mean, you have people of so many different ages. I think the, the oldest person here is what, 81 years old? 81, 81 years old. And the youngest, I, I see little babies, I mean, congratulations, you know, it's so wonderful. But you know, bringing these different people of different ages uh, together, to, to work together, to be united in, um, in, in, in helping um, our homeland, um, our ancestral homeland, the Republic of Macedonia. It really is quite remarkable. Congratulations to all of you, and uh, you certainly you can count on me for, um, for whatever you need. And yes, I will join the companions, Mark, absolutely. <laughs> You know, again, thank you to everyone um, c coming here. It really has been quite, a, quite an honor for me uh, to participate in, uh, in this event. Uh, it's just been so wonderful. Um, I would like to uh, first thank my husband. I feel like I'm you know, up at the Academy Awards. You know, I gotta thank, thank my husband, Dr. Joe Novello. He really... He really has been very supportive of, uh, of my work, supportive in all, all senses of the word, uh, in my work on uh, behalf of Macedonia, so thank you, honey. Um, and also, I'd like to say, thank uh, Tanit. What about, weren't the, the, the dance, those young people dancing, weren't they just absolutely remarkable? You know, as we're about to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the independence of Macedonia, it's kind of interesting that uh, some of the other people that received the awards this evening, um, Ambassador Chris Hill, you know, what, what you have done on behalf of uh, the Republic of Macedonia, um, certainly in, in other parts of the world, but especially the Republic of Macedonia and in, Bel and in the Balkans, it, it, could never, it could never be told, and it could never really be repaid, or, um, but you really have helped. You really have uh, made a difference, and it really was quite a pleasure for me uh, to work with you uh, during those years, and really, you're just you're so, so happy that, um, that you did you were willing to, uh, to undertake, and also to continue to be so, so supportive of Macedonia. Another person that I worked with um, early on, or had interactions with early on, of course, that was 
uh, Mr. George Atanasovsky. You know, he really. Um, al although uh, his and my politics uh, uh, statements, comments were not uh, um, on the, the same, we had differences of opinions, but we did. Uh, we did communicate, we did cooperate, and we are, we are friends. So, George, it's so wonderful to see you again, and, and uh, congratulations um, on, on, your, um, on your award. You know, again, thank you to all, to everyone, and, and I would like to say uh, a special thank you to, um, to President Kirill Gligorov. I spoke with him uh, last week. He's, not, he's 94 years old. I mean, he's still a remarkable person. To thank him again for, for um, the, uh, the opportunity that he gave me and for all, all the wisdom that he shared with me. And cer certainly the Republic of Macedonia was very fortunate to have him as the first president. But I think just as important, the rest of the world was very fortunate that Kirov Ligorov was president of the Republic of Macedonia at, during those very critical times. I would like to also thank the current president, President Ivanov, for his leadership. I would like to congratulate Prime Minister Gruevsky on, on, the, on, the, on winning the, the, the elections just which were there just uh, recently to thank everybody again and also to, to thank Blagoje for for this beautiful uh, painting and book and, if, and he has an exhibit and if you haven't seen you know you really should because they, they are some beautiful uh, paintings paintings uh, out there thank you for thank sharing you. sharing this with us again I really am very humbled I, I, I thank you very, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, I'd just like to uh, call up uh, Mr. Ivan Triposki, uh, who came all the way from Sydney, who is the most published uh, author in, uh, in the diaspora, to present uh, Ambassador Ratchevska with a gift from Australia. Little symbol. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, even I'm sorry, an ambassador can never stop talking. Uh, <laughs> Little symbol for Methodist. <laughs> Just wanted to say before that to thank Ivan. He also presented me with some books, um, and the books of poetry, and they really are beautiful. This is the second Australian gift I've gotten today. Wow. Oh, I guess by the time I open it, but oh. there you go. All right, okay. I can't open it, but oh, there you go. Oh. Perfect. So I think this is a, some sort of instrument that I play. Um, I used to play the clarinet, but. This is didgeridoo. Thank you. Thank you. Abos. Thank you. <laughs>